Okay, I am here at Flickr.com in order to give a brief demonstration on how to use the description part of your media tags to search for media to put into your projection slides. Flickr.com is a great site to come and do these searches because it is a crowd-sourced site. That means there are a bunch of people who are adding materials to it daily, and a good portion of these are released under Creative Commons license as described in the book. Now when you get to Flickr.com, one of the first things that you see is this search box up here in the upper right hand corner. You can search right away in that box, but it's going to search the entire site and not merely the images that are able to be reused. So what we're going to do is we are going to click that search link and we're going to get a site that looks like this. Right away you see that there's a drop box that's added next to the search or the text box here. And if you click on that, this is one of the easiest way to find images that you can use without any restriction whatsoever. It's called the comments. These are scanned public domain images that have absolutely no restrictions whatsoever. And so let's do a search that just looks through the comments first. I had to do a presentation a little while ago that talked about flooding, so I'm going to type in flooding. And we'll search for that. And you see here are a bunch of black and white images that we are able to use uh, without any restriction whatsoever. You can, we still want to attribute them, uh, but we can use these without having to worry about violating any kind of commercial copyright or even doing attribution, because a lot of these we don't know who they made in the first place. And you can click on that. You're going to find some unique images that you will not find anywhere else. Great resource to use. But if you want something that, that's a little more modern, you're going to need to search for Creative Commons content, not the comments. Little bit of uh, confusion there in the language. To find Creative Commons content, what we're going to do is we're going to go over here and hit this little button or link, Advanced Search. And when we scroll down, here now is a search criteria, search only within Creative Commons licensed content. Now there are a lot of different licenses for Creative Commons. One of those allows you to reuse uh, images or anything licensed under Creative Commons for commercial content. That means if you were going to be going out and giving a, a professional presentation that wasn't didn't fall under fair use license, uh, you could use it. Or you could use the images in a book. It's usually it's if you still attribute uh, the image to the author, uh, you're able to use it. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and make sure that I'm only searching for images that I can use commercially. I'm not going to have to worry about uh, what purpose I'm using them for as long as I follow the stipulations of the license. I'm going to keep on fl uh, searching for flooding here and I'm going to go back and I'm going to search. And as you can see here are a number of images that follow my search criteria that are able to be used for commercial purposes. Here's one example. And when we scroll down here, you're going to see this license area on the box. It's going to say some rights reserved and you're going to see a bunch of icons next to them and when you highlight you're going to get a little help box that is going to show you uh, what the stipulations of the license are. And in this case, it's merely attribution. I have to show the link to this image, and I have to show who created the image. And as long as I have those two pieces of information, I am allowed to use this image commercially. So that's just one way to search for your images uh, to put into your presentations. I hope you find it helpful. And again, Flickr is a great site to come and find these things. Uh, it changes daily.